Ever since he returned to Canada after spending two years in South Korea doing missionary work with the Mormon Church, Jackson Payne has been quietly but steadily regaining the form that made him the best all-around gymnast in the country. After such a long break from top-level international competition, the challenge couldn't have been greater. But Payne has been more than up to the task, training by himself for over a year while overseas before returning to Canada last June to rejoin the men's national team. Payne says he never lost sight of his ultimate goal of competing at the Olympics and credits his longtime coach and former member of the Chinese national team, Liang Cheng, as one of the keys to his remarkable comeback. I don't think anybody in the world has done this before. The two years he left, uh, seems never left. We have a very close contact almost every week, and we share the, share the, and share the information with each other, and he keeps himself in shape. Payne has been taking things slowly since getting back into harness competing last year at the Pan American and World Championships, and more recently at Elite Canada, where he unveiled a difficult new high bar routine and also competed on the pommel horse. My plan right now is to keep uh, doing all six events. I am, I am focusing on three, uh, three important events, pommel horse, high bar, and parallel bars. So those are my three I'm more focusing on, but I am an all-around athlete at the moment. That's what I want to do. I set my goals high, you know, like there's, there's no other higher goal than to be, you know, world champion, world finals. And the next, the next few years, that's, that's, that's something I believe and I, I hope to achieve. Still, there's lots more to do before the next World Championships if Payne and his teammates are going to qualify a full squad for the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. At the final qualification event for the London Olympics, the Canadian men fell just short of the mark. This time around, says Payne, it's going to be a different story.